Thanks everyone so much for your questions. It's uh, great to be back in Goa with you all. And welcome to those who are new for the, and here for the first time. And if you've been here many times, welcome to you as well. And if you're feeling completely rebellious, perfect. And if you're feeling completely open and excited about being here, also perfect. And if you'd rather be on the beach right now, perfect. So no matter how we're feeling, no matter what we're thinking, all is well. Because what's happening here at the Balance View Centre is we're getting to know what's real about ourselves. We're getting down with reality. We're getting to know ourselves as open intelligence, the nature of reality. And very simply to introduce ourselves to the fundamental nature of ourselves, to the nature of mind, to open intelligence. We just simply stop thinking. Stop thinking just for a moment. Just relax body and mind. Just let everything be as it is. Just for a moment. Ah. It's like pure relaxation right there. We've just given ourselves a moment to introduce ourselves to that about us that's completely clear and stable, totally open and alert. This is open intelligence. And now we've been introduced to this intelligence. And this intelligence has always been present, has always been available for us. But I know for myself it had gone unnoticed because I'd been giving meaning and power in my life to all the thoughts, emotions and sensations. And in Balanced View, we can just keep it simple by referring to all thoughts, emotions and sensations as data. So giving meaning and power to the rebelliousness, the excitement, the openness, the wishing to be somewhere else, anywhere else but here right now. And as you can imagine, if we're living at the whim of our data streams, giving power and meaning. Data are fleeting, unpredictable, countless and ceaseless. Because a moment ago you might have felt rebellious and all of a sudden now you're a little bit open, a little bit excited. The data is always changing. That is so true in my experience. I can never pin down a data stream. And now through the introduction and through the support of the four mainstays, I've been given permission to not try and pin myself down, not try and control the flow of my data. I've been empowered to allow it to be as it is. Allowing all data streams, positive, negative or neutral, we just simply allow ourselves to be as we are. And rest deeply in that intelligence that's always stable, clear and alert, always present and available for us. And we have a simple practice, a simple method and a tool, a key that is just generously bestowed on each of us when we come to a balanced view training, an open meeting, when we listen to media, when we watch videos. And that's the tool of short moments the practice of allowing ourselves to be as we are for a short moment, allowing all the data to just be as it is and recognize that stability that's at the basis of all our experience. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times and that instinctive recognition of open intelligence becomes alive and bright, moment to moment. We recognize through the power of short moments that all data are inseparable from open intelligence, like the sky and the color blue. We see data just naturally arrive, they hang out for a little while, and then they just naturally release, leaving no trace like the flight path of a bird in the sky. No data has a power to inform our actions, our mind, speech and body, our qualities and activities. When we allow ourselves to be as we are, we rest deeply in the power of great benefit, synonymous with open intelligence. And when we live as this intelligence, when we speak from this intelligence, when we're active from this intelligence, 
we see there's just so much availability and openness to be able to contribute to the benefit of ourselves first and foremost, but then that naturally pervades all our experience and we just naturally want to contribute to the benefit of all in a really relaxed and easeful way, totally natural. My desire from a very young age is to be, has been to use my body for the benefit of all. And so I spent many, many years efforting, cultivating a body that I deem that would be suitable to benefit myself and all beings. And I was efforting and trying and forcing and making myself into this man that I thought I needed to be and that I should be based on ideas that I had, belief systems and whatnot. And I've just found naturally through this training and applying the practice of short moments, how I'm so much more natural with myself and what I want to contribute and how I want to contribute, that I, there's no fixed idea of how I need to be, how I need to look, how strong I need to be, how agile, how flexible. I'm just simply allowing myself to contribute however it feels appropriate in each time, place and circumstance. So the days of efforting and forcing and trying to cultivate anything has just naturally released itself. And now it's this spontaneous wisdom, this perfect knowledge that knows how to look after myself and how to contribute moment to moment. And it's such an easy going way to live life. I don't have to worry about my diet. I don't have to worry about exercising every day. I can allow myself to just be natural. Whenever it feels comfortable to go for it, I go for it. And when I want to eat tiramisu, I eat lots of it. <laughs> All is well. We don't have to pin ourselves down or lock ourselves into some framework or belief system based on our ideas or anyone else's. Religions, governments, institutions, teachers. What we're empowered here is to actually instinctively taste the fruits of open intelligence ourselves, to have that decisive experience ourselves. That's the key. And that's what I love about this training is that it's all based on my direct experience. And so we have this empowerment network, the four mainstays, to really evoke the instinctive recognition moment to moment. We have the tool of short moments, the practice now that we can take wherever we want to go, whatever we're doing. We can apply it when the hideous data streams arise or the most fluffy, beautiful data streams arise. We can just let all become equal and even in this rich pool of benefit, this open intelligence that is comfortable in being completely uncomfortable. Comfortable amidst all the flurry of data streams. So short moments, a powerful tool now that is just available to use and we really want to use it just so we can taste it, the benefit of open intelligence in our lives. And so we have trainings, we have trainers, and we have a community which make up the four mainstays. A community of people worldwide who are just choosing to practice short moments. To no longer be a victim to data. To be comfortable to feel unworthy, limited, not good enough. And they were all my daily data streams for as long as I can remember. You're just not good enough. And everyone else is so much better. And no one else feels like me. No one else feels unworthy. I'm the flawed one. Look at everyone else, everyone's smiling, everyone's happy. And I'm just unworthy, not good enough. And you know what, that's still my experience. That is still my experience. And there's nothing I try and do about that anymore. What a relief. We don't have to worry about our data streams. We don't have to belittle ourselves because of the data streams that we have. And so when we come to the trainings of Balanced View, when we come to open meetings, when we listen to talks, when we watch videos or read the books, a, and a fire ignites in us. 
where we see all is well. Nothing needs to change. People sharing their direct experience of open intelligence is something I love to soak up, to hear the benefits in people's lives about applying short moments, about applying the Four Mainstays lifestyle. It's so inspiring to listen to people who are empowered and exalted, who are comfortable as they are. We can just hang out for a moment, basking in affliction, <laughs> positive data, whatever it is. But this knowingness of what to do and how to act, this spontaneous wisdom and benefit that is so innate to us, inherent, is present and available for us when we allow ourselves to be as we are, not locking ourselves into any box based on our culture, our belief systems, based on what other people think we should be, do, say or act. We're just natural. We're present and available moment to moment and we're empowered with our speech, knowing how to support everyone we know we can't control the data streams of other people because we know we can't control our data streams. And that is just the way to empower all relationships. Harmony, immediately, immediately powerful and immediately present for us. Relationships aren't based on data anymore. It's based on the knowingness of what's present and fundamental about all of us. And right now, maybe not a whole lot of the population knows what's present and fundamental about us. But here we do. And our commitment to doing this, to living a Four Mainstays lifestyle, to rest as open intelligence, is just the perfect way to demonstrate what is possible for humankind. What is possible for all beings who are positively thinking and trying to hold on to certain states to be considered a happy, healthy human being. We just stop playing any games of trying to hold any data stream in place. And we can allow other people to do what they do. And we just simply take responsibility for ourselves. And that evokes interest. It's magnetizing and attractive. And I have a lot of negative data. <laughs> and I'm really happy about that because it always just leads me to the solution of open intelligence. And when I have positive data, which is quite random and fleeting, all is well there too. And neutral data, perfect. But nothing about us needs to change. And I can't get enough of hearing that. I can't get enough of hearing that. And that's all I want to share. And that's all I want to present in my day-to-day -day life, is that nothing about anyone needs to change. And I'm my own science lab, exploring that in my own experience, testing it out, being unafraid to feel afraid, vulnerable, to feel wrong. Because so many of us, I've come to see, feel in that way. And I've only seen the, the solution being to allow it to be as it is. And it's such an easeful and relaxed solution. You don't have to do anything. Just allow yourself to be as you are for a short moment and then repeat that short moment many times throughout your day. And the four mainstays will just be here to support that recognition of open intelligence moment to moment. And that brightness grows, that cheerfulness grows more and more. And for me, five years in this training, facing myself fully and nakedly, seeing myself in the ways that I never wanted to show anyone. I'm so comfortable to open myself up to the support of a trainer 
when we complete the 12 empowerments, we have access to a trainer who's just there to empower every taboo data stream. So we don't need to hide out. And the more we give, the more we get. Living on an island of gold, where each data stream is just seen as gold and fuel for beneficial action. Totally natural, easeful and relaxed. And this is you.